In the morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ, how are you today? Thanks for listening to today's edition of St. Mark Bemidji's podcast, a podcast dedicated to the faithful study of God's Word. Gratitude is a concept that's lost its value in society. Almost as soon as something good happens to us, or is given to us, we're on to the next thing. And if that next thing doesn't immediately appear, well, we're off to the grumbling races. Sure, you could blame the 24-hour news cycle, or the super short TikTok videos shortening our attention spans for such behavior. But really, this is our sinful human nature just doing its thing. One only has to look at a toddler to see this work in short order. The small human cries and begs for that bit of thing that you're eating, and heaven help you if you say no. And, as soon as they get their fill, they're crying for the toy on the other side of the safety gate, with nary a full mouth, thank you, or a grin between an acknowledgement. Think it's just toddlers? Well, in Exodus 15, the people begged for food, and God literally made bread out of the dew in the desert for them feeding the million-plus gathering of Israelites. Grateful? Well, I'm sure many had the good grace to pray or sing a song. After all, they weren't all toddlers. But what happens in the very next chapter? They were demanding water, and not in the Oliver-type, please, sir, may we have some water, way. No, Moses was terrified that they were about to stone him to death over it. True gratitude? No, I don't think so. We're all guilty of the same thing. Let's repent together to God and take the time to stop and appreciate the blessings that God has given us. Then, show true gratitude and use those same blessings in whatever form they are given and use them to His glory. Share with your neighbor. Build relationships that will lead to sharing the word of salvation. Use the blessings of speech or writing to tell of God's love and mercy. I pray that you are blessed by today's meditation, and if you like this content, don't forget that you can subscribe to it so that you can get similar devotions four times a week. If you have any feedback, don't hesitate to drop me a line at john.kirk at stmarksbemidji.org. And now, on to today's meditation. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Parable of the Pharisee and the Tax Collector, Luke chapter 18. And Jesus told this parable to some people who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and viewed others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and was praying this to himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, swindlers, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing some distance away, was even unwilling to lift up his eyes to heaven, but was beating his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. I tell you, this man went to his house justified, rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. This is my text. In the name of Jesus, amen. The essence of contrition is not in realizing that I have done something wrong. The essence of repentance is not just owning up to what I have done. Contrition and repentance is the conscience of a sinner who knows and feels God's wrath and anger against his sin. It is to know that sin is a corruption of the relationship between the sinner and God, and there is nothing that the sinner can do to repair that. The soul that sins shall die, and he knows it, and the sinner knows he is the cause of it. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. The psalmist said it this way, For my iniquities have gone over my head, that like a heavy burden they are too heavy for me. I am feeble and crushed, I groan because of the tumult of my heart. Joseph of Israel said it, How can I do this great wickedness and sin? against God. And Dr. Luther said it, that we learn to look with terror at our sins 
and to regard them as great indeed. The Pharisee doesn't realize that. Lord, I thank you that I am not as other men are, he said. You're not? Well, if that is so, that you're not as other men are, sinners, then God is wrong. Then God didn't have to send his Son into our flesh to bear our sin and be our Savior by bleeding and dying on the cross. Then God must be a liar, because he said, He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Which shall you listen to, the Pharisee or the incarnate Son of God, Jesus? In the name of Jesus, amen. We hope that today's meditation on God's Word has enriched you. Divine services are held right here in Bemidji, Minnesota at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Sunday school and adult Bible study is also offered between our Sunday services at 9.15 a.m. Our church services are live-streamed at 8 a.m. on Sunday mornings and are available afterwards on our channel, St. Mark Lutheran Church, Bemidji. If you're listening or watching this podcast, you are cordially invited to join us in person next week and every week. This is our fourth year producing this podcast, and there is a large archive of devotional material online available if you want to learn more about God and His Word. Visit www.stmarkbemidji.org or look in the show notes in this podcast for a link to this and many other meditations on God. You can also search for St. Mark Bemidji on YouTube to find our channel. If you have any questions or you would like more information about our church and its ministry, please visit our website, which is once again, www.stmarkbemidji.org All scripture readings are taken from the Holy Bible, New International Version, copyright 2011, and are used by permission from Zondervan. Meditation's daily devotional is published by Northwestern Publishing House and is also used by permission. If you enjoy this podcast, please consider subscribing and telling a friend. May God bless the rest of your day. He, because I could not pay it, gave my full redemption price. Do I need of treasures many? I have one worth more than any. That brought me salvation free, lasting to eternity.